Coach DeBoer adds another head coach to his staff. So both of the defensive coordinators, the co-defensive coordinators, both head coaches, sitting head coaches when Alabama hired them from the FCS ranks. And it started at South Alabama yesterday when Kane Womack was hired by the Crimson Tide. And then today it is Maurice Lindquist. And he's another up-and-comer that is well-respected in the business. We're going to talk about him, where the coaching staff sits now. Also, is there any news on transfers? Uh, that's an issue that Alabama is certainly dealing with, trying to get ahead of guys leaving the program. We'll get into all of that here. Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel, whether you're an Alabama fan or not. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure that you uh, like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a way of saying Roll Tide. Let's get this party started. Here's your invitation to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Hey, so everybody, I'm Mick Gillespie. Welcome to our channel and make sure that you are part of it. I'm at Broadcaster Mick on the socials, but we appreciate you being here. Our show is presented by Pearl River Resort over in Choctaw, Mississippi, an hour and a half from Tuscaloosa. The Time Out Sports Lounge, a place where you can go and gamble legally. That includes uh, the NFL, the NBA, college basketball, college football when it's season. A lot of exciting things going on in Tuscaloosa. Obviously, it has been a week that we didn't expect, but Greg Byrne, the athletics director, has done a fantastic job of going out and getting Caleb DeBoer. DeBoer has tried his best to put a staff together. And the one thing that you can really put your finger on with this staff is it's a lot of really good people and good coaches as well. And this hire, I think a lot of you are going to like. And it's co-defensive coordinator, according to reports, and that is Maurice Lindquist. And you, when you look at what his career's been like, great football player, won a state championship in Texas uh, in high school, you know, went to college, played there, and then has an extensive coaching record already, including being the head coach at Buffalo, where he leaves to come to Tuscaloosa. And that also shows you, first off, coaches feel like coming to Alabama and Having success there will put them on the next level as far as uh, being head coaches at big programs. So Coach Lindquist looked at the opportunity and he took it. Here's his resume. Uh, Baylor is a GA, also played at Baylor. Valdosta State, James Madison, where he coached safeties. You got Buffalo, defensive back, Iowa State, defensive backs, uh, same thing, Mississippi State safeties, Minnesota defensive backs, 2017, Texas A&M in uh, 2018 and 19. He was with the Dallas Cowboys in 2020, then with Buffalo as their head coach. And now he comes to Alabama and he joins uh, the Crimson Tide. Staff right now for Alabama starting to come together. The offensive coordinator, Ryan Grubb from Washington, Running backs coach, Robert Gillespie, no relation to me, but we should be related. Great last name. He's uh, in his role as running backs coach. That's what he did last year for Nick Saban. Wide receivers, Jamarcus Shepard out of uh, Washington. Tight ends, Nick Sheridan out of Washington. Did the same thing last year. Offensive line, Scott Huff from Washington. And by the way, they won the Joe Moore Award, best offensive line in the country. Defensive coordinator, we talked about him yesterday, Kane Womack from South Alabama. Uh, then defensive line, Freddie Roach, Alabama. Great to have Freddie on the staff. Another guy that was there with Nick Saban, played at Alabama. Great to have him as well. And now defensive backs with uh, Maurice Lindquist. So Alabama showing that they're not afraid to uh, to get guys that are head coaches and bring that head coaching experience. Now, a lot of people have said, what about the recruiting? The recruiting right now starts in Tuscaloosa. Trey Amos has 
entered the transfer portal. Where is he going to end up? You've seen some other guys, rumors of other players. We're, we're all watching to see if Caleb Downs is leaving or staying. Alabama putting the full court press to try to keep him right now uh, in Tuscaloosa. You know, obviously, Tavarius Robinson was a coach that Alabama really would have liked to have had, and he decided to stay at Georgia. The question is, well, why? when Kevin Steele left, why would he have just waited to get promoted? And, you know, part of that is just the way that all of this happened. And you can't blame a guy for trying to make sure that he has a job. You know, and when Nick Saban retired, the coaches found out with the players, they weren't sure what their future was going to be. So, um, you know, that's part of the reason why uh, T-Rob ended up in Georgia. And Alabama talked to him extensively on Sunday, and he's decided to stay. And it would have been, uh, honestly, would have probably been a tough situation for him to take that job and then leave. So Alabama gets a, a coach here and Coach Linquist that his, comes in with an extensive track record. He is good at recruiting. He's, he, he's relatable. Um, he is an excellent speaker. And he's someone that I think is really going to have an impact on the defense for Alabama. Obviously, has worked with the secondary a lot um, in his career, even at the NFL level. And someone that Alabama pulled from a head coaching job to come to Tuscaloosa. So I think this is a really good hire for the Crimson Tide as they move forward. Um, you, you never know when it comes to, you know, co coordinators who's going to call the plays and who's not you know we've talked about it on the channel you know what does that really mean when a guy's a co-coordinator or not they'll iron all of that stuff out as coach DeBoer continues to put the staff together uh, players that have graduated from Alabama and gone on have been very vocal on social media you know urging the the guys that are there now to stick around some of the players that are there Tyler Booker being one of them have posted on social media about what it means to be at Alabama. And I thought Devontae Smith, not Devontae Smith, the Heisman Trophy winner, who, by the way, was one of those players that basically said be an idiot to leave Tuscaloosa. But Devontae Smith, the uh, defensive back, you know, talked about meeting Coach DeBoer and spending a couple hours with him and, and, and you know, how relatable he is and how he cares about the players. I, this guy is going to win in the long run. It's been tough because Alabama has been under siege for some of their players through this process. But you can really feel things starting to smooth out now as they add coaches. And these guys are getting to town and getting to work. What we're hearing as is that they're showing up and meeting recruits and you know the guys that have committed, that maybe have decommitted, or just making sure that they're, they're sticking around. They're doing everything that they can possibly do right now to uh to to try to get this entire thing smoothed out and uh get through this this turbulence that we have you know basically less than a week since Nick Saban retired. So here's the guy again a great resume and when you hear him talk you're going to be like okay yeah this is a this is a guy that you definitely would want to have around as an educator, as someone that can give you the experience of working in the NFL, working in college, working as a head coach, this could be one of the best moves for Coach Lindquist because he is definitely a guy who will end up at a major program as their head coach. He's already been at Buffalo. And ironically, it's the same school that Nate Oates came from. So, um, you know, Alabama going back to Buffalo again to uh, add a coach, this time a football coach, instead of a basketball coach. So an exciting day for the Crimson Tide as they move forward, and that is the news right now. So Coach Lindquist joins Coach Womack, and those two guys will team up on the defense, and uh, Alabama will continue just to try to keep the guys they got. And uh, don't be surprised if Alabama doesn't start to bring in some guys from the transfer portal as well. Starting to hear rumblings in that direction, and when it happens, we'll be talking about that as well. And as as teams uh, lose their head coach, that's going to open up more teams to go through what we've gone through, right? How are you going to keep your roster? Well, beware. You know, maybe Jim Harbaugh leaving Michigan, you know, obviously Arizona, San Jose State, Washington, all schools right now where the head coach has taken another job and we're all keeping an eye on Michigan. You know, who knows? Maybe Brian Kelly goes there and that opens up LSU 
it's the world we live in right now. We might hate it, but it's just kind of the way that it is. So there you go. All right. One thing I want to say is not only are we brought to you by Pearl River Resort, but don't forget about our good friend, Chad Anderson. You know him from the channel. At this Chad is real. ChadwickAnderson.com. And you can just go over there and hit that that uh, button uh, with your phone and uh, he can help you with anything going on with your mortgage. He's helped over 10,000 families get into homes, including me and my studio, my house. He's fantastic. He's an investment consultant, an Airbnb expert, and uh, he can do all of those things for you guys as well. All right, thanks. And when something else breaks, we'll have it for you right here. Uh, roll Tide, everybody.